nice no follow me comes out here so we're gonna skill swap gonna get um earth eater onto our tinkaton they're gonna be setting up trick room though which is kind of rough and earth power is gonna come through on the tinkaton baby earth eater tinkaton let's go huge there what's going on guys cisco here back with some more vgc dub battles and today we've got a really clever team we've got a source dance tinkaton team who will have no weaknesses tinkaton with no weaknesses yep you heard me right this girl here only has two weaknesses fire and ground but we're looking to skill swap earth eater onto our tinkaton while being in a ring team to reduce the damage from fire type moves meaning she will have no weaknesses also it's got the electric terror which would only make it weak to ground once we terrestrialize but if we skill swap earth eater onto it again no weaknesses on a electric terror tinkaton so we're looking to just dominate with tinkaton today make it have no weaknesses and just do an insane amount of damage um and by giving it like a fun fun note by giving it earth eater and setting up the rain and keeping it with its regular fairy and steel typing meaning no terrestrialization on it only five out of 18 typings would be able to hit this thing for neutral damage which is just kind of nuts so it's gonna be really hard to get rid of this tinker tongue so the way we're gonna do this is with our boy orthworm here who is the only pokemon who has this amazing ability and which is Earth Eater, and we're going to be skill swapping with Tinkaton to obtain it, and we'll be giving Orthworm the ability Pickpocket, which will be able to, which will allow it to steal the opposing side's item. So it could reduce the amount of damage the opposing side does, or it, take, get rid of its leftovers, whatever the case may be. Orthworm with Pickpocket, once we skill swap, can take it away from them. So a really nice duo there, and then we also have Shedtail and Orthworm to be able to swap into another Mon. Uh, with it being behind a sub already so imagine our child on or tinkaton behind a sub that would be deadly like you to do super effective damage to it and get rid of that um sub is going to be really really hard so they're going to be able to thrive behind the sub and do a lot of damage there now let's go back to tinkaton for a bit it's also got swords dance to raise the attack stat by two stages it's got play rough and gigaton hammer to do an insane amount of damage gigaton hammer is a base 160 move exclusive to tinkaton and we can't use it um back to back we can't we couldn't use it every other turn so we're going to be very careful when we decide to go for gigaton hammer so most times we'll be clicking play rough if we need to now like we said we have a rain side here with pelipper and our child on pretty standard stuff between these two just a really really good duel really good um rain duel here just dominating the uh, regulation h we've also got overquill with the swift swim and liquidation crunch and haze just to haze away any potential dodozo teams or uh minimize mug teams all the shenanigans or any teams that really want to set up really bad we can just haze it all the way with overquill and get rid of all their stat changes now one thing i forgot to mention is that earth eater doesn't only make a pokemon immune to ground type moves it also heals the pokemon if it's hit with a ground type move so we have eq on orthworm to continuously heal up our tinkaton if we lead those two but i don't want orthworm to have all this pressure to do so many things so we also have eq garchomp here with the clear amulet to do an insane amount of damage and continuously heal my tinkaton this way we can go for eqs do some damage onto the opposing side and continuously heal our tinkaton who also has leftovers so we're going to be getting hp back from earth eater and from leftovers so tinkaton going to be really really bulky here and at the same time with that sword dance going to be a really good physical threat with tinkaton hammer and play rough so that is a squad i think it's going to be a really good idea i think it's going to genuinely work like tinkaton with no weaknesses it's going to be really hard to get rid of and it's going to be able to dish out a good amount of damage once we have this little lady with um earth eater it's going to be unstoppable going to be really bulky and go for one sword dance if we can do an insane amount of damage onto the opposing side so let's get right into these battles with earth eater tinkaton who will have zero weaknesses baby all right we've got a battle against brett and they've got their own tinkaton so going to be battle of the tinkatons and they've got a second terrain expanding force armor here um I have to say, Storm Drain Gastron is probably coming through here. But I do just like these two as my lead. Garchomp in the back looks fantastic. And then should I just go our child on here? You know what? I think I might just go for our child on and waste my terra on tinkaton yeah we'll go for that overcool made a good case as well here with crunch onto two psychic types but the storm drink gastron just kind of ruins the whole rain thing going on here so 
we could just lead the two steel types hopefully they don't lead armorage if they lead armorage then it's looking kind of tough because they could just armor cannon down my they could armor cannon down on my orthworm and they could also go for follow me here which kind of sucks Gas turn and DD, okay. Chances they go for follow me? Or they just set up Turk Room? I feel like they just set up Turk Room here. Should just be Turk Room, right? Do I want to go body press or do I want to go into earthquake here? Let's just go iron defense. And skill swap. Nice. No follow me comes out here. So we're going to skill swap. Gonna get, um... Earth Eater onto our Tinkaton. They're going to be setting up Trick Room, though, which is kind of rough. And Earth Power is going to come through on the Tinkaton, baby. Earth Eater Tinkaton. Let's go. Huge there. And they're going to get Trick Room off. That's fine. That's fine. All we got to do now is play it a little slow here. Let's just let's just take a step back, play a little slow. We're looking to be in a very good position. I could just shut tail out. But I think just ripping some body presses here is more beneficial. Yeah, let's go for some body presses. Let's go body presses, go for source dance. They're gonna wish for all the gastro. That's fine. Gonna be armorage. Follow me is gonna fly through. So body press is gonna go into the NDD to around 50%, which isn't bad. And we're gonna get a nice little source dance off. Alright, lovely. Now. I think I'm just going to go EQ here. I don't love the idea of terrestrializing away from... This typing, but the armor cannon can do a lot of damage onto us. I'm going to go EQ. And I think I'm going to terrestrialize here. You know what? Let's go body press. Terra Gigaton Hammer. This should be... And they're going to terrestrialize away from the fire typing, which is perfect. Going to be into probably grass. Yep, going to be grass. Hopefully, what we're hoping for here is that we can KO with... um. Body press on the Ndidi, so Gigaton Hammer won't be redirected onto the Ndidi. But they also might just go for a helping hand here. So we're going to try to our Tinkaton into a nice little electric typing. My Tinkaton has zero weaknesses now. Nothing can touch it. Absolutely nothing. And they're going to go for helping hand, baby. Let's go. So we should be able to survive this um, armor cannon. Body press is going to fly through. Going to leave the Ndidi on one. And they're going for heat wave. Beautiful, baby. Tinkerton survives. No burns, please. Orthom does go down, which kind of sucks. No burn, baby. Here comes a plus two Gigaton Hammer onto Armourage. Bye bye, Armourage. We got rid of their expanding force Pokemon. They only have a ground type and an Indeedee left. We're looking really, really good here. Wow, we look fantastic right now. I might just live, uh, go with Garchomp here and start ripping some EQs. Well, um, our Chowdown does look decent. I think just going Garchomp here, we, we won't die to Dazzling Gleam. It's going to be Ash again. Okay. That's perfectly fine, baby. So we're just going to rip an EQ across. And go for a nice little play rough onto the Gastrodon. Hopefully they don't follow me here. They do go with the follow me. All right, so play rough is going to come out first. Going to say bye-bye to the Ndidi. Ooh, Ice Beam.
That was a bit of a dumb play. And we missed the play rough. Okay. That's a little concerning. Definitely a little concerning here. Our child is going to be our last Mon here. How many turns of Trigum do we have? It's the last turn here. What other Pokemon could they have? They could have Tinkaton. They could have... Okay. And I believe my Archadon is slower than my Tinkaton here. 106 and 114. Yep, beautiful. So I'm just going to go Flash Cannon into the Nzidi slot here. Get rid of that. And play rough into the Gastrodon. Follow me to the call here. Flash Cannon is going to be coming out first. We're going to say bye-bye to the Ndidi. Beautiful. They go for Muddy Water. No stat drops, please. You get a stamina boost, which is really nice. And no stat... Uh, no accuracy drops. Beautiful. So Flash Cannon, going to get rid of the Ndidi. We're going to say bye-bye to Ndidi. Take a ton. I need you to land this, this play rough now, please. Beautiful. That pause, I didn't like it. I didn't like that pause. <laughs> All right, so we should be sitting in the driver's seat here. Um, I could just go for Gigaton Hammer into the Gastron. Trick Room is up. What Mon do they have left? Gonna be their own Tinkaton. All right, beautiful. They already wasted Terrasalization here. They could go for the Fake Out. They could be going for the fake out here. They're going to fake out my Tinkaton, which is fine. Our Chowdown should be out speeding here. As long as we land this um, Draco Meteor, we should be good. Let's go, baby. We're going to say bye-bye to Gastron here. We can even get a critical hit. We did not need that critical hit. I can guarantee you that. And now we're sitting here 2v1. Now it also depends. Who's faster out of these two? Because if Tinkerton outspeeds me, could be kind of tough. I'm just going to go for body presses here, though. Body press, and then we're going to try to go for Gigaton Hammer now. They're going to go play rough into Tinkerton. We're going to say bye-bye to Tinkerton. Okay. Fair enough. Tinkerton needed to land that Gigaton Hammer, and that would have been an insane amount of damage there. We would have picked up the one-hit KO. So now it becomes a 1v1. This is Life Orb Tinkerton, so it's going to be taking its own damage. Body press is going to fly through. Do a decent chunk, and that's going to be GG's. They have nothing that can one-shot my Archad on here. Knockoff flies through. Does this little damage. Going to give us another stamina boost. Body press is going to follow through. And that's going to be GG's, baby. We play that game beautifully. That skill swap in the beginning to avoid the Earth Power damage was huge. GG's. Right, we've got a rain team against Minerva here, so... It kind of helps us out in a sense. I think I just like the Orthworm Tinkaton here lead. I'm not going to bring my Pelipper. I don't think there's any need for bringing in my Pelipper. Um, guard jump with EQ. Um, grassy terrain lowers that damage output a lot. I think maybe just Arch Shot on an Overquill will look really good here. Yep, we're going to go for that. So we're going to straight go for Skill Swap. Try to get um, Earth Eater onto our Tinkaton. Should be really good here. The only issue is the amount of water damage that they're going to be putting out here. Could be kind of tough. Could be kind of overwhelming for my Tinkaton. Going to be our Chowdown and Pachirisu. Pachirisu could be going for Follow Me here. I just don't think it goes for follow me though. I don't see it going for follow me here. It does go for follow me. So we're going to skill swap with the Pachirishu. Gonna take Volt Absorb from it. Which isn't horrible. Body Press is going to fly through with the Orthworm. We're going to take that really well. 
And we're gonna get another iron defense up. Well, not, not another one. Our first one. They gave me no reason not to go for another one. And now I'm gonna try to skill swap Orthrum again. Beautiful. This time we got a skill swap off. So now we're gonna have Earth Eater. My. <laughs> oh, let's go, baby. Bulls or Orthrum. Oh my goodness, that's insane. Flash Cannon is gonna fly through onto Tinkaton. Gonna do a decent amount of damage. Gonna lower our special defense, which kind of sucks. And we're gonna get another Iron Defense out. Okay. We're looking really good. Two really good abilities here. I think it's time to go EQ here. And Swords Dance. I could Terrasize into... Um, electric. And I think I like that. Yep, let's go for that. Because they should be going for another Flash Cannon here. It's going to be resistant now that we're Electric Terra. And getting this EQ off will allow us to get some good HP back on our Tinkaton. So we're looking really, really, really good here. So Electric Tinkaton coming out here. They're going to go for another Follow Me. That's perfectly fine. We're going for EQ, baby. Everyone's going to get hit with this. And we're outspeeding the Archadon. So Swordsman's going to come out here. We're going to get a plus two in our attack. There's a Flash Cannon. Going to be resisted. We are minus one special defense, though. So that's doing quite a bit of scary damage. And EQ is going to heal us up a little bit more. Look at that, baby. Let's go. Not bad. Not bad damage there. Leftovers is going to heal us up a little bit more. So now we're seeing our HP recovery is more than their damage output. Which is really good. But I'm actually going to go for this now. Clairoff is going to connect to Pachirishu. We're going to say bye-bye to Pachirishu. Now our body press is going to 100% land on the our Chalodon, which should be able to do a good amount of damage. Dragon Pulse flies through. That does scary damage. The body press flies through, picks up the one to KO on our Chalodon. Let's go, baby. Now we're sitting at a 4v2 here. Leftovers is going to heal us up a little bit more. All right. Sweet. I could go for another EQ to try to heal up my... Rasky Legion. It's a little tough. Definitely a little tough. Polytoad. So they have... They have speed control now. But we have we have a good we have a good set of Pokemon in the back. You know what? I'm gonna go for Shetau here. I'm gonna admit that Tinkaton is done here. If not, we'll go play rough into Basculation, but they should just be going. Surf? Are you kidding me? Why do you have Surf? In what world do you have Surf? Why can't you be going for a regular old single targeted water move here? All right, we're back to healthy for Shetail, but Muddy Water is going to bring us right back down to dead. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if we outspeed this Vasky Legion. I don't know if we outspeed this Basque Legion. Sitting at 78 speed. Mm. Overcool is faster. You know what? Let's just do it. Polito protects. I have a feeling our Chowdown can win this game out for us. They go for another turf. Okay. 
I don't mind that at all. They are all speeding though, which kind of sucks. Do we survive this surf with overcoat? We don't. We get crit on. Oh my goodness. You've got to be kidding me. We get crit. You're joking. I knew I should have protected. Wow. Come on. Go for another surf. It was really good damage. Polyton is almost done here. They get a crit on their own Polyton. Okay. You get another stamina boost. We're going to say bye-bye to Basque Legion here. Unless they're... And we outspeed the Polyton. Unless they're Focus Ash, we should be fine here. But the fact that they're outspeeding makes me think that they're... Choice uh, Scarf. Let's go, baby. Get out of here, Basque Legion. What's this Polyton going for here? Muddy Water. They connect. Does little damage. Let's go. So now we just go body press. And we should be saying bye-bye to Politoed here. Beautiful. Let's go, baby. Our child on coming in clutch. They got a lucky crit with the on the overquill, but hey, our chat on had our back and picked up the dub for us. GG's. We got a battle against Alex and they've got a Snorlax. Hmm. Snorlax and then the hospitality on the Sinister. So a potential lead for them could be just. Indeed, he set up Trick Room. Maybe Gambit. I see that being a potential lead. But they also kind of like Rillaboom here in a sense. Because Rillaboom uh, negates EQ damage, which they're kind of weak to. Is Orthworm Ticketon a good lead here? Hmm. I don't know. Couldn't really tell you. I think I think I think it's fine. Back we're definitely bringing Garchomp. And then I think I'm gonna go our child and close it off. Yeah, let's go for that. So our child with no rain. Going to be very interesting. Don't necessarily need the rain in this one. They have no fire type moves that can really threaten my... Um... Well, they have no ground or fire type moves. Well, the um, Rillaboom could have high horsepower. Gold Dingle and Snorlax. Okay. So, a lot of pressure from... A potential... Well, Snorlax could have uh, both ground and fire type move. Let's go for this. It's fine. Got a nasty plot. I got a nasty plot. That's scary. We're gonna skill swap here. I wish I brought my Orthworm. <laughs> and we're gonna get an iron defense off. I'm going to Terrasilize first. Speed drops, attack and defense boosted. So double setup. I wish I brought my haste Pokemon here, but I didn't. Who am I Terrasilizing here? One of us is getting an electric Terra. To survive uh, the... I'm gonna electric terror with this guy. Oh, nasty party. Scary, man. That's scary. We do have the 
Garchomp in the back. You can't just outspeed and go for EQ here. Shadow Ball. Wow. Orthrum survives. Wow. Orthrum is a beast. Gigaton Hammer is going to fly through onto Snorlax. They are sitting at plus one. That does no damage. Wow. But EQ is going to fly through. Respectable damage. Respectable. Another curse. So here we should be seeing a, another... We should probably see Make It Rain here. Actually, no. We might not even see Make It Rain. Do we see Make It Rain here? We could see Make It Rain. I'll go EQ. And let me just get a Swords Dance off. Nice. Stage Little Shadow Ball. That's fine. Good thing we didn't swap into our Chowdown there. Because if we would have swapped into our Chowdown, that meant we would be taking that with the Archadon and like doing having it do a lot of damage so we're just going for another curse you know how bad I wish I had um overkill here <laughs> my goodness All right, let's go Garchomp let's make this let's let's ruin their day right here Garchomp with EQ should be able to do a ton of damage here could also even protect now EQ EQ Gigaton Hammer. That's fine. This should be... Oh, it's going to be really boom. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. So EQ damage is going to be reduced a lot. I'm going to tickle them. Oh my goodness. But Gigaton Hammer is going to fly through onto the Rillaboom. And we're going to pick up the one at KO on Rillaboom. All right, sweet. They're going to rest. Which is pretty scary. And they're going to wake up right back up. With a little Chesto Berry. All right, this Nolex is getting to be a little scary. Definitely a little scary. So they could be going for Rage Powder away. I'm going to protect here. I think it's a nice, safe play to protect. And I'm going to try to hit up another Sword Dance if I can. I'm going to test my chances with another Sword Dance here. We get another Sword Dance off. They're not going for Rage Powder, which is rather surprising. Macha Gotch is going to fly through. Don't burn me. Just, just don't. Thank you. They miss. And EQ is going to fly through. Why are you going for EQ in grassy terrain? Why would you set up your own grassy terrain? Make it make sense. You're doing damage to your own Sinister here. Very little damage, but still. Well, I am sitting at plus four now. So I like the idea of Rock Side here. For a potential flinch chance. And then Gigaton Hammer into the Snorlax. I like that. I really do like it. And they're going to withdraw the Sinistro. I do not mind that. They could be going into a Protect on Snorlax here. What I'm hoping for is more of a flinch on the Snorlax. Wow. Snorlax is tanky. But Gigaton Hammer is going to fly through here. Ooh. Ooh, and we get the flinch, baby. Let's go. We're such gamers right now. We're such gamers. We are gaming right now. Um, I'm going to go for an EQ here. We're sitting plus four without Tinkaton. They have no nasty plot. We're going to go for EQ. 
I'm going to take our chances with Player Off. I think Player Off should be able to do enough damage here. EQ's going to fly through. Still dealing super effective to Goldengo. That's Player Off, if it connects, does the job. Make Rain's going to fall through. We both survived that, no problem whatsoever. They even get a crit on my Tinkaton. And Player Off connects, picks up the KO on Goldengo. We're looking to be in a fantastic position now. Because we know that Gigas and Hammer is able to do a ton of damage onto the Snorlax here. Ooh, Body Slam. We're going to say bye-bye to Tinkaton, right? They get a crit. They get the beloved crit. That's a little scary. That is very scary now. Wow. You see, now I'm just worried. <laughs> now I'm just worried. I don't think we have enough damage output here. Look at that. Hospitality is going to boost the Snorlax all the way back up. Come on, man. Maybe I should have just gone play rough into Snorlax. Yeah. I think that was the play. Let's protect. Um, the risk of a Rage Potter flying through here is kind of worrying me. I'm going to take my chances with Draco. We're going to protect Garchomp here. He might be going for EQ here, but that's fine. We connect the Draco. We get a crit. That's good damage. Hold up. That's really good damage. And we block the strength sap. All right, beautiful. Go for another curse. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. I kind of need to... Mm, I don't know what I need. I need a lot of things here. Rock slide plus. Maybe another Draco. Let's try it. Let's try it. Now they click the Rage Potter. So what we need here is hypothetically a flinch. Another one. We're doing no type of damage whatsoever. Draco connects again onto the Sinister. We're not doing enough damage. They probably go for EQ here, and that's... Rest. Again. Try to kill this initial. Yep, they go for Rage Powder. That's perfectly fine. Hopefully, this is enough to get rid of the Sinister here. Dragon Claw. That's good damage. Flash Cannon, please. That's a dumb berry, man. Come on. Give me a crit. Oh my god. Snorlax takes his turn to sleep. Well, now I'm going to go Dragon Claw here. And I'm going to start racking some body presses on Snorlax. They could have Terra here. Have they Terrasized yet? Well, I don't know, but... Dragon Claw is going to give it a Sinister here. That looks pretty good. Body press is going to fly through. We have no stamina boost. Give me some stamina boost and we could... We could... Ooh. It's two turns of sleep. Keep the sleep coming. Keep the sleep coming. Dragon Claw is going to fly through. We need a crit, realistically speaking. Listen, we're slowly chipping it up. We're slowly chipping it up. It wakes up. They go for EQ. And that deletes everyone, right? We both survive. Hold up. Wait a minute. 
I mean, the only play is Dragon Claw Body Press again. We gotta get a crit here. Give me a crit somewhere. Here comes the Dragon Claw. Give me a crit. Come on. No crit there. And no crit there. <laughs> EQ's gonna fly through and it's gonna pick up a double KO. And that's gonna be GG's. Listen, we gave it our best shot. This, this Snorlax just... It just set up bad on us. But hey... Zinkatan was doing really, really good there. GG's. All right, we've got a battle against Tommy, and it's going to be a little rain team as well. They do have the Intimidate on Incineroar, which can be very sad. Could also have Final Gambit Annihilate, maybe? Could it be that? There's a chance. Pretty good chance it's Final Gambit Annihilate. Um, I'm thinking maybe Orthworm and... Or from an Overquill, maybe? Or our Chowdon. No, I think our Chowdon. We bring our... Do we bring our Pelipper? We definitely bring Tinkaton. Do we want to bring our Pelipper or do we go Overquill? I mean, Garchomp looks pretty good at the end game there. Especially with that clear amulet. Listen, if they don't bring Polytoad, I mean, I'm fine not giving them rain. I'm fine not giving them rain. So the idea here is going to be to shed tail into the Tinkaton. And have my Tinkaton be safe behind a substitute. Go for some uh go for a skill swap potentially and go for some Sword Dance and just start ripping damage from there. But we'll see. We'll see if you want to go for a skill swap. There's not really much ground pressure from their side right here. So gonna be. Not great. I'm gonna go Chateau. And I'm gonna go Electro Shot. I could Thrasize into Grass as well. Avoid the Spore. I don't mind it. Let's go Terra Grass. Let's just waste our Terra already. I think the trade of not being put to sleep and allowing our Chowdown to go absolutely nuts here is more valuable than having it put to sleep and saving Terra for... for Tinkaton. So we actually have speed. Electro Shot is going to come out here. I think I, I, I put one stat point into my Chowdown, meaning they have no speed stat, uh, speed into it. Or it might be a speed tie. So we're both going for electro shots. No rain coming out here. Orthorm should be going next here. And we're going to get a beautiful shed tail off. Lovely. Going to activate our stitch berry. Going to eat it back up. So that, that way we can come back. Be nice and healthy. And who would I want to put this behind, behind this? Um, who would I want to put behind this sub? Tinkaton, I think, right? Yeah, I'll go Tinkerton. Just being behind that sub makes you really good. Spore is going into... Beautiful. Lovely Terra there. So we're free to get a skill swap here. I forgot I didn't have any time to think. But we're just going to go for skill swap. Um, there's no threat to them. To my um, Tinkerton here. I mean, Electroshot should be going into... The Tinkleton slot, but we should be able to survive it. And we're actually going to be able to outspeed the following turn. So getting the skill swap off is going to be really good. I'm really loving the combination of Orthworm and Tinkleton. I do have three steel types on this team, though. So Sword Dance is going to come out here. We're going to get a plus one attack. Really, really good. Going to go right back to hiding. Electro Shot's gonna fly through onto Amoongus. Do decent damage. And they're gonna go into my Tinkaton. That's fine. Does that get rid of my sub? Please, no. Damn it. That's fine, though. Because. You have clear smog. You have clear smog. I do get a stamina boost, though. 
You want to go for clear smogs. We still have our plus two in attack, right? Yes. I'm going to get rid of you. <laughs> you can hammer into the Amoongus. And I'm just going to go for body press into the Archadon. Should be able to do a good chunk of damage since we're sitting at plus one in defense. And they have no defensive boost yet. Yet. They are going to get one after we go for body press, though. But Giga and Hammer here, plus two, should get rid of this Amoongus. Let's go, baby. That's huge. That's a huge KO right there. We get rid of their Spore. We get rid of um, just an annoying Rage Powder Pokemon. Body Press is going to fight through. Do 50% to this thing. That's lovely. Their Body Press is doing no super effective anywhere. And they're going to Dragon Pulse my Archadon. Hold up. Why'd you do so much damage? But the fact that we actually outspeed here, that one stat point that we put into our into our Archadon is coming in so clutch here. Because we're just outspeeding this Archadon by one stat point. This is why playing with EVs is so fun. Because in certain scenarios, they come in so clutch for you. So Borgon 2 is going to come out here. I need a little download. But I'm just going to go play rough into Porygon 2. I could double into the Porygon 2. No, they could Ghost Terror. I don't want to go. I don't want to risk that. Let's just go Body Press into our chat on. They could go for a Ghost Terror, which would kind of suck. Regardless, Play Rough should be doing a good chunk of damage here. And then the following turn, we can go for Giga Ten Hammer. But they're just going to swap the Archaladon on. Into Epitaph. Who's Epitaph? Good swap. Good swap. Porygon 2 is going to get the Terra. They should be going for... It is Ghost. Okay, so... I mean... Maybe I should have just gone for a different move other than... Um, body Press. But Play Rough is going to connect on the Porygon 2. Do a decent chunk. Body Press is going to get ignored by everybody. And are they going for Trick Room? Are you room service on Annihilate here? You're not. Put up, put up, put up, put up, put up. You think they protect the uh, Annihilate here? I don't know, but let's just get rid of the Porygon too, I think. And I'm actually going to swap into Orthworm here. Yeah. They could go for Ice Beam into... Into the Archadon Sly, I think. Yep, there's the Ice Beam. Alright, lovely. So Orthworm's going to eat that up very nicely. They're going to outspeed, go for a Drain Punch. We're going to soak that really, really well. And Giga Tumor is going to fly through onto Porygon 2. That crit didn't matter. We're going to pick up the one hit KO. Not one hit KO, but we're going to pick up the KO on Porygon 2. Which is very nice. Very, very nice here. All right. Cool. Now what are we doing? I could... I, I, I just I stuck in my own words. I could set up another Shadow with my Orthworm. We should be the fastest thing here. They could double down into Tinkaton, though. But regardless, I think this is fine. Tinkaton has done a lot of work already. We're going to go play rough into the... Annihilate and go for... I could also go Body Press. But I think getting a Shell Tail off would be very, very valuable here. Yeah, Orthrum's going to ask me to get a Shell Tail off. We're going to come into... What do I want to come into here? We're going to Garchomp. Actually, no, I'm going to go Archadon. on. Waste some more Trick Room turns out. Going to waste some more Trick Room turns. That way we can come end with um, Garchomp, outspeed everybody, and go for some big old EQs here. They might be doubling into Tinkaton. No, beautiful. Let's go. That's huge. That's massive. 
they're not gonna get any damage health back right yeah they're not gonna get any health back from that drain punch gonna get rid of our sub though oh no they do get health back you didn't do any damage to me though how does that make sense we need player up to connect though nice player up connects we say bye bye tonight and that's gonna be ggs baby that's it it's over so a really good swap on our end there just wasting out some good trick and turns and get some leftovers hp recovery and Orthorm with Shetail really coming in clutch here. Showing the power of Shetail, really. We're going to rip Draco. They're going to outspeed. They're going to get rid of one of us here. But whichever one they get rid of, the other one is going to get rid of them in sacrifice. They're going to get rid of our Tinkaton here. Tinkaton did amazing, though. Picking up a one-hit KO on Annihilate. Who else did it KO? Oh, and the, and the Amoongus. Yeah, and the Amoongus. And we got rid of the Porygon too. So, Tinkerton just going crazy. And we are going to say GG to this one. Let's go, baby. All right, we got a battle against Legend here. And it's going to be a really strong team with Electabuzz, Hisuian Typhlosion. Oof. Oof. I think we have to go Rain here. I think I like... Actually, you know what? Let me catch them off guard go over cool or chat on swap in the pelipper and then maybe just finish off with tinkerton tinkerton could do pretty good damage here overall yeah we'll go tinkerton let's do it let's do it baby come on just real quick watching the yankees game yankees royals any yankees fans out there i hope we win today if we don't I'll be very sad but yeah I saw the Mets win today too, so hoping for a little World Series, um, a Subway Series World Series final. That would be really awesome. We're currently up 3 2 in the ninth. Hopefully, we can maintain that lead. But all right, let's get back to Pokemon though. Um, if we lose, I'm blaming it because I'm watching the game. <laughs> That's why I'm blaming it on. So we got a battle against Legend here. Let's go. Let's see what they're leading off with. I think our shot on Overco is a really good lead because it leads. It, lets, it leaves them guessing as to where I'm going. And that's also just very scary. I think what I'm going to go for here is Terra... Terra Water Crunch. And a swap into Pelipper. Because this is going to negate the uh, eruption damage. Going to minimize it to the max. And allow us to get rid of the Dragapult here. So, I think this is a really good play. Really good lead here. Allows us to manipulate the game and leave them guessing as to what we're going to go for. Yeah, it looks like they're really thinking because <laughs> they're taking a while to decide what they want to do here. So, our channel is going to get the swap. We're going to come in with our little Pelipper here. Get the rain set up. Get the rain set up and then reduce the damage of Eruption number one. And at the same time, we should be able to outspeed with our Overkill now. Go for a big old crunch onto Dragapult. Hopefully, it's not Focus Sash. Maybe it's just Choice Band. And go from there. Ah, let's go Overkill. You haven't had much time to shine, so today is your chance. Well, this match is your chance. And they're going to Tarasis as well. Going to be the Dragon Pulse. Meaning we do outspeed. Straight Dragon. Oh, that's annoying. Very, very annoying. We are going to outspeed, though. Crunch is going to fight through. Do an insane amount of damage. Really good damage there. And they're going to go for a Flamethrower. Just very little. And if you're going for Dragon Darts, we might be able to survive here. Show me that we survive. One into Pelipper. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we don't survive, I think. Overkill? Overkill survives. Lovely. So I'm going to go Crunch. I'm going to go Liquidation into you. And I'm going to rip a Weather Ball into the Typhlosion. Should be able to pick up Double KO here. And that's why we went to liquidation, because they're swapping out the 
into Gambit. That's lovely. This liquidation is going to do a lot of damage onto this Gambit. So liquidation is going to fly through here. How much damage are we doing onto this thing? 75% to this thing. We're going to die out to Life Orb. And hopefully they're just going for a flamethrower and my Pelipper is able to survive here. Yep, just flamethrower. Pelipper, please survive. It's in the rain. Your water type resisted damage. Beautiful. We're going to respond right back with the weather ball and most likely KO our KO their Typhlosion like this. Let's go, baby. All right. Really good stuff there. Really, really good stuff. Overquill putting in a ton of work there. Okay. We got we to gotta be smart here, though. You have to be smart. Is our child on the right play here? Yeah, let's go, Archado. They'll probably go back into pull. Yeah. If we can, I'd love to set up a Tailwind. If we can. Dragon Darts is going to fly through. We're going to say bye-bye to Pelipper. Our Chowdon should be able to take this decently. Okay, not bad. And we're going to get a nice little stamina boost, which is really key here. And we're going to say bye-bye to Dragapult. At least we should. Don't let me down, our Chowdon. All right, let's go. Huge. So now it's a 2v2. Tinkaton and our Chowdon versus Gambit and... Who's your final Pokemon? But the fact that we're sitting in front of a... Ooh, low kick. Wow. I did a lot of damage. Life Orb Gambit as well. All right, let's go, Tinkaton. Her Marina is going to come through here. So this Hyper Voice is going to do quite a bit of damage here. Go Body Press here. And I'm going to Swords Dance. Tickets should be able to be out uh, faster than... They go for Sucker Punch. We die out. Oof. He took some good life orb chip. We do have speed. We get a Swords Dance off. Now Gigaton Hammer should be able to pick up the KO on Permarina here. But Hyper Voice is just doing way too much. Hyper Voice is doing a lot of damage there. Because of the rain. If I had fake out on this Gigaton, we would have won this match. But we're just going to try to go for Gigaton Hammer. Hope we survive. A low kick from the Gambit here. They go for Sucker Punch. Which we survive. We're going to outspeed. Land the Gigas and Hammer. Do we pick up the one to KO? We say bye-bye to Primarina. Okay, hold up. Rain's going to stop. That did 76 onto... It's just like 50. Oh, they're on one HP, man. I think they win. This is all about mind games at this point. It's all mind games. It's all mind games. Um, it's all mind games because if I don't attack and they go for sucker punch, we get a little more HP recovery. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna attack. I'm gonna read that they don't attack. They, they go for sucker punch. Let's go, baby. All right, huge read. So Sucker Punch is going to fail. <laughs> Our ticket is sitting at plus four now. This is all mind games, baby. Come on. I'm going to get a little more leftovers back. I'm going to put us at 50. Do we think we survive one? That one did like 76 to 28, which like almost like... 
I think we I think we're good. I don't know. I think I think this is fair enough. Sucker Punch flies through again. We die out. Oh, come on, man. We needed to go for another one. They die out as well. I'm calling it a tie. That is not a loss. But we're going to get the loss for that one, right? Yeah. GG's. Really good game, though. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Our Earth Eater Tinkerton team is complete. And I am... I'm not surprised. I had a good feeling that this team would do really good. And it, in fact, did really, really well there. Um, only losing two games, which the last one we could have even, like, maneuvered our way around it. If we go in for another skill swap there, got a little more leftovers back. But nevertheless, had a lot of fun with this Earth Eater Tinkerton. It did a lot of damage after one sword dance. Gigaton Hammer was hitting, like, an absolute truck. And Worthworm, we got to see Chateau in one game just shine for us there. So... Overall, I had a lot of fun with this team. Really, really good team. Tinkaton, she had her time to shine, and she, in fact, took it and sh shined? Shun? I don't know. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.